You know, I really haven't felt the same about my garden since I quit Shed Wars back in the beginning of 2022, or the 2022 season, whatever you want to call it. Uh, the whole thing just kind of left a bad taste in my mouth. And, you know, not the, not the gardening aspects of it, but some of the, some of the leadership aspects of it just kind of really left a bad taste in my mouth and it kind of made me a little bit down on my garden but I don't think that's right because my garden was always my my one zone I mean not that I don't love my entire home but my garden has always been my my one place the one place where I feel closest to to God the creator because I look around me and I'm just surrounded by the beautiful amazing things that God makes grow and you know I still I, I feel that connection and I want to get that connection back so today I am out here in my garden just kind of hanging out spending some time something I haven't done a lot of in the last year and a half I've just come out here and tended the garden and and you know gone away <laughs> part of it being that mom wasn't able really to come out here last year uh, either so that kind of took it away but I imagine if I had sat out here often enough she would have found a way to come out here anyway I digress so I'm out here today and uh, like I said I'm just sitting around and I'm hanging out and I don't know if you all remember um, in June 2022, shortly before I left, or right around the time I left Shed Wars, um, Honey bought me a drone. <laughs> and I have never actually flown it. I have started it up a couple of times inside, and I've paired it with my phone, and I've done a few things, but our weather around here is very rarely conducive to drone flying. It's often way too windy. And then the other thing is, like this, my drone is considered a toy. It's not heavy enough to be considered an actual drone. So it doesn't need to be registered, and I don't have to have a special license to operate it. Um, and, you know, I probably won't ever fly it too far away from me, but because we are so close to the airport, they're very, very strict, I guess, um, in airport zones about flying drones. So I probably won't take it up anywhere more than, I don't know, 20, 30 feet around the, around the house anyway. I would like to get some shots of the house, but I want to learn it before I go on my trip this year because I'm going to be staying at a really cool vineyard and I would love to get some some drone shots of the property to uh, show off to the vineyard chicks so <laughs> so I am out here enjoying my garden and I thank you for coming and hanging out and enjoying it with me it really is a beautiful peaceful night I think it's still probably in the mid 80s which is 25-ish <laughs> or so in Celsius. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to set you up here beside me, kind of looking at what I'm looking at. And we're going to see if we can't figure out how to get this drone up off the ground anyway and not... The last time I did it, I did it in the house and it listed to the right. So uh, I looked at the instruction that, and, and there is a way to fix it. So I'm going to look at those again and get ready to try to fix that. And again, oh, welcome. <laughs> welcome to my world. If this is your first time here, my name is Lori and I live on beautiful Vancouver Island, uh, British Columbia, Canada, with my dear loving husband and my sweet old Mima mother, my sweet old mother <laughs> that people uh, refer to as Mima. Anyway, let's, uh, let's get to it. And then of course I forget to turn on the camera when I fly the drone. So I did actually fly it around for a little bit. I didn't go up uh, any higher than the house and I didn't go far away from myself like I just kept it here in the backyard and kind of learned which controls did what and what makes it go up and what makes it go down 
and yeah so i'll have to play, try and play with it again a little bit more but my phone was dead and so i couldn't connect my phone to it so i couldn't see or get it to videotape so i'd like to try that again before i leave but uh yeah it's not going to be tonight because it's already eight o'clock and uh my phone was almost completely dead so it's going to take a couple hours to charge <sighs> Oh well, it is what it is. I had fun though, and now I'm just gonna hang out and enjoy my garden. So take good care of yourselves. I will see you soon. I leave on vacation in just a couple of days, so I am gonna try and, well, this video is probably actually gonna come out while I'm gone, because why the heck not? <laughs> I don't know when it'll come out, but I'm just going to clip it together. I'm not going to cut it or edit it or anything like that. Uh, I'm just going to let you guys have a little peek into my brain for a little, a little bit. I, you know, things I don't always share with, with people. I know there's not really a lot of people <laughs> who watch my channel, but um, I do love the ones who do, and I appreciate you. I appreciate your comments. I appreciate your thumbs up or your thumbs down. Leave a thumbs down if you think I'm being a whiny baby, <laughs> and I won't be a whiny baby anymore. Um, yeah, and I'm going to try to lose the nervous laughter also in my videos because uh, people have commented on that before saying that it distracts from uh, my actual message uh, that I'm trying to get across when I laugh nervously as I am prone to do so I'm going to try to cut that out a little bit and maybe only laugh when I'm laughing at my husband or when something strikes me particularly funny, not just as a space filler or some way to make noise. See, look, I almost did it right there. Oh, neighbors are walking by, probably wondering why I'm talking to myself out here. So I'm going to say goodbye. Thank you. Take very good care of yourself, and I will see you soon. Bye now. Mm -hmm.